What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Retro Hoop Breaks. We have today 94, 95 Skybox Series 2. <clears throat> uh, we'll see what's in here. Uh, this is going to be uh, Grant Hill. This is going to be... Um, um, he was number one. I think number. I think Glenn Robinson was number one, or uh, not Glenn Robinson. Glenn Rice, number one. Uh, we got Grant Hill. We got Jason Kidd. That's his rookie year. Jalen Rose's rookie year. Um, a couple good rookies. Oh, that's a nice little bit of damage on the box there. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't affect the cards too much. Uh, there's a Grant Hill insert set. Slamming Universe, Sky Tech Force. There's a pretty cool Shaquille O'Neal uh, Slamming Universe uh, set in here. So we'll prop this up. Booyah. All right, we'll try to jump right into it just so we can get as many packs as we can. Only 12 cards per pack. Hopefully we don't get a lot of sticking. Doesn't look like we will. All right. Man, these are nice cards. Scotty Pippen, Dikembe, Tony Kukoc, BJ Tyler, Joe Dumars. There's our first insert. Slamming Universe, Joe Dumars, Tucker, Malik Seeley. This is Anthony Miller. Rookie card. That's what the rookies look like there. Steve Smith. There's another rookie. Michael Adams and John Wood. Well, that's a big boy. Six foot nine, 300 pounds. Good luck moving that guy in the paint. Let's see. Penny Hardaway has a pretty cool card in this one. Um, We'll see what else we get. Jamal Mashburn, Sky Slams. Eric Montrose, Brian Grant, rookie card. Tom Gugliotta. Slamming Universe. Dale Ellis, Sean Higgins. Oh, there's our big dog right there. Charlie Ward. Jason Kidd. Man, look how young that dude was. Jason Kidd, rookie card. Uh, do I have? I don't have. All right. Let's bag that dude up. That's a nice little card right there. Of course, as always, looking for Akeem Olajuwon, Sean Kemp's, and Penny Hardaway's. Those are always in play. Um, and, of course, big rookies here, again, being Grant Hill. And... Uh, Grant Hill and Jason Kidd. Sky Pilots. Derek Coleman. Tim Hardaway. Glenn Robinson. Big Dog. That's a nice card. Eric Montrose. Danny Manning. Dwayne Farley. Oliver Miller and Tony Smith. Somebody made a comment on one of my videos about how I open up these packs. I'm not exactly sure how else I'm supposed to open up these packs, but um, I do try to be as careful as I can. I mean, these boxes are getting more and more expensive. So um, hopefully we get some 
Good stuff here. Reggie Miller, Kevin Johnson, Larry Johnson, Grandmama, Kevin Johnson, Skyforce, Sarunas, Marcialonis. Who's this? I want to say, yeah, Carlos Rogers. Derek Rose, rookie card. I think Derek Rose, full time analyst now. Can't remember if it's on ESPN or Fox or what, but. We'll go ahead and sleeve this young man up. All right, we got Kid, we got Rose. Now we just need Grant. Wayman Tisdale. We just need Grant Hill. Man, if we can bag Grant Hill, that's, that's the trifecta right there, baby. Charles Barkley, Mark Price, Danny Manning, the Admiral, David Robinson, Mark Price again, Mark West, Jay Humphreys, don't know who that young man is, is this Tim, yeah, this is Tim Bro. look at that, old Rockets, Chris Weber. Right. Pooh Richardson. There's another Danny Manny. There's another Dave Robinson. There's Clyde the Glide. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is nice. This is... This is not your normal Sky Force. This is a Gary Payton... Oof, man, this is nice, yo. I don't know what the deal is with this one, but this is a gold Gary Payton Skyforce. Let's get that in there. Man, that is a nice card. The old glove. Man, look at that. See my reflection. Man, that's nice. Just compared to the normal Sky Force. Well, I mean, I don't know. I guess it's. I don't know. I might not have nothing special. I might just be looking at it kind of weird, but it looks cool. Moses. Vincent Askew. Oh, yeah, this is Juwan Howard's rookie card. Another big one. Another big rookie. I don't know if we'll put him in a protector, but. And Pooh Richardson. 36 packs per box, 12 cards per pack. Akeem Olajuwon, David Robinson on the box. There's another Pippin, Dikembe, Tony, BJ. There's a BJ Tyler, Slamming Universe. Big Boy again, John Williams. Chuck Persons? Wesley Person. I saw Persons. I just thought Adam Keefe and uh, it's either Adam McKee or Scott McKee. Aaron McKee. I was close. <clears throat> close enough. Close enough. This was 95. So it was almost you know, 30 years ago. Give me a break. Oh, this might be Eddie Jones' rookie year too. Yep. Kenny Anderson, John Starks, still a little salty about John Starks dunking on Akeem Olajuwon. If you haven't seen that, it's worth the Google. Sean Kemp, my man Sean Kemp, Cliff Robinson, Skytech Force, Blue Edwards, James Watson, and Terry Cummins. I'm still looking for a Hakeem Olajuwon, Penny Hardaway.
Latrell Sprewell, BJ, D. Brown, Derek Coleman. Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just asking for one. Ask and you shall receive, my friends. It's beautiful Penny Hardaway. Sky Tech Force. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. Look at that. That's going into the vault for the old PC. Look at that. Gorgeous card. Gorgeous card. Bill Cartwright. Uh, Terry Rozier, I believe is his name. Clifford Rozier. Okay, no, nope, I don't know who I'm thinking about. Terry Rozier, but Eric Montrose. I need to go through and pull out the rookies again out of here. I really, really do. Oh, here we go. Another Sean Kemp. Brick Smith. Chris Mullen with the high and tight. Steve Smith. Eddie Jones. Grant Long. Oh. Oh. Bazarovich. Sergei Bazarovich. Look at that mustache, yo. That mustache. He means business with that mustache. Mark Jackson, <laughs> I was going to say Tristan Thompson, but that's not Brooks Thompson. What does it say? Approximate odds of finding a slanting universe is one in every two packs. A Sky Tech Force is one in every two packs. NBA Draft Picks, one in every 18 packs. A Skybox Revolution, one in every 72 packs. The Grant Hill set, one in every 36, so we should get at least one. We should get at least one Grant Hill card, which is probably what we're going to end up getting. Wesley Persons, Vlade. That's a terrible picture, man. It's a shadow right on that man's face. Cold blood. Chris Mullen, again with the high and tight. Robert Parrish, Byron Scott. Antonio Lang. I was thinking Andrew Lang. I got to start putting in my call for some of these guys. Uh, I have no idea who this guy is. Jim McLevine. Big boy. All right. All right. You know, I'm really, I uh, was hoping, you know, that, that the, the vintage market for basketball cards would cool down. It is not cooling down. I mean, if anything, these get, things are getting more and more expensive. Um, so it's, it's, it's getting harder and harder to buy boxes and break them and open them up and see what's in them um mitch richmond these things are just getting expensive man there's another eric montrose a danny manning trevor ruffin i was gonna say david ruffin david ruffin's a singer not a basketball player um yeah they're just getting more and more expensive by the day Seems that people are really catching on. Uh, I'm starting to see a lot more videos like being shared on Facebook and on Instagram of like 90s basketball players, which is dope. Don't get me wrong. I mean, that's my favorite era of basketball ever. Look at Big Sean Bradley. Seven foot six inch Sean Bradley. That's a big boy. Um, don't get me wrong. I think it's dope. Uh, I think the 90s basketball is probably one of the best. Uh, generations of basketball uh, it was the perfect combination of of um, really skilled basketball players as well as the rules being a little bit more loose it was kind of the wild wild west of basketball back then um again just think what's one of the best best eras in basketball um we might look back at this era and and say the same thing about it that's a nice larry johnson um, I don't know. I just think there's another Jason Kidd right there. And there's a Glenn Robinson. And a checklist. Check, check, please. Got a checklist. Look at that. 
So number one, number two, and number three. Well, actually, we haven't gotten a number three draft pick. We haven't pulled a, a Jason K uh, uh, Grant Hill yet in this card. I'll sleeve those up later. That's what I'm looking for. We haven't pulled one yet. A little bit of bricking, not not a whole lot, but, and I really wouldn't call it bricking. It's maybe just like, you know, cards kind of stuck together at the edge, tops and bottoms. Clarence, Carl Malone, there's a Charles Barkley Sky Force, which is dope. Ricky P. Well, yeah, that's a, that's a rookie. Cedric Sabalos. Bill Curley. Uh, Bill Curley might be an analyst. I think Bill Curley's an analyst. Make sure I didn't miss any rookies. I'm going to start trying to make sure I didn't miss the rookies. Kevin Gamble. That's a dope name. You know, going to, you know what, kind of looking at how many boxes I got left or how many packs I got left and we'll decide whether or not I'm going to split this up into a two-parter or not. I think that might be our Grant Hill right there. Yep, there's our Grant Hill. Oh, this is a revolution, though. This isn't part of his, so he's got a special insert series in the hobby boxes. Still a dope card, though. Not his rookie card per se, but still pretty dope. Um, yeah, I was thinking about whether or not I wanted to break this up into two videos, but I think I'm not going to. I'm just going to go hard. So if you guys want to hang in there, we'll break through the whole box. I'm still looking for a couple of key cards that I really wanted out of this set. There's a um, pretty dope... Uh, um, Shaquille O'Neal, um, not Skytex, it was uh, Slamming Universe. Shaquille O'Neal has a pretty dope Slamming Universe in here, in this set, um, which I wanted to get. It's kind of a cool card. Um, Steve Smith. So we'll power kind of power through the rest of this. Um, the Penny Hardaway that looks like this is pretty dope too because he's in his uh, black and blue uniform. And, it, you know, it's like the the whole card has got like this black and blue motif to it. That's kind of dope. Um, yeah, this one's got a little bit of breaking on it. Oh, look at there. Oh, I think that's, that's going to be our Grant Hill card. Kind of a little embossed type thing. Man, that's dope. And of course, it's like super stuck. Oh man, yeah, that's that's the one. There's only five of these. Man, that's kind of cool. You see, it's kind of like embossed. That's pretty dope. So that's two Grant Hills that we got so far, which is cool, I guess. Sky Tech Force. Sean Elliott. Let's see who's this. A rookie. Clifford Rozier. All right. Let's do this. We're going to start opening them up. We're going to do the Retro Hoop Breaks patented three pack stack. We'll go for three packs, three packs at a time. Let's see what this looks like here. All right, we got Dominique Wilkins. Gary Payton. All right, we're starting to get a little more, a little more bricky. A little more bricky. 
just a smidge, just a tiny bit more bricky. All right, let's see if that helped. John Stockton, hey, there's old Akeem Olajuwon. Jim Jackson, Steve Kerr, Avery Johnson. If you haven't heard Avery Johnson talk, do yourself a favor, YouTube it. The guy has the greatest accent ever. Well, there's Jalen Rose right there. Wayman Tisdale. Come on, we are looking for Penny Hardaway. Jason Williams, Adam Keefe, Kevin Willis. All right, that one kind of, that three packs, that kind of sucked. That's a pretty cool little set. I like it. Um, kind of not heavy on the inserts. Pretty basic um, looking uh, base cards. Um, I hope we hit that that uh, that Shaquille that I wanted. Um, it's a pretty cool card. Um, John Starks, Sean Bradley. Kenny Anderson, Glenn Robinson. It's funny, Glenn Robinson kind of goes overlooked as the number one draft pick that year, but he was number one. Um, D. Brown. Uh, he was the number one draft pick that year. Um, kind of gets overshadowed by, oh, look at this. Charlie Ward. I think this is the, um, that's dope. Did it say he was a Heisman Trophy winner? Heisman Trophy winner wasn't drafted by the NFL, so he committed to basketball. Wow. Charlie Ward, look at that. That's kind of a cool looking card. There's another Charlie Ward right there. Uh, if you're wondering what my rhyme or reason is for either putting a card here, or putting a card there, there really isn't one right now. Um, I know who the top draft picks were that year, so I'm just kind of trying to hold on to those. Um, obviously, Jalen Rose is pretty prominent uh, name still in, in, in kind of the basketball circle, so uh, I'm very familiar with that name. And then, of course, as always, uh, Hakeem, Sean Kemp, and uh, Penny Hardaway are always going to get put to the side. Um, I'll go back later on and, um, you know, figure out what I want to do with, or, or figure out how I'm going to, you know, sort through um, the rest of the cards. But I really don't have, at the moment, much rhyme or reason for how I, uh, for how I do this. So somebody asked that in one of the, one of the comments like what do you, you know, what's your rhyme or reason there, there isn't none if you're looking for one listen folks if you're coming to this channel looking for rhyme and reason it's not gonna happen oh bob hurley glenn rice mr reese ricky pierce cedric sabalos there's another rookie right there kevin gamble jason kidd Vin Baper, Va blah, blah, blah. Vin Baper, why, why do I keep saying Vin Baper, Vin Baker, Lafonso Ellis, Derek Coleman, if you guys have been following the channel, y'all know that Vin, or sorry, Derek Coleman was the uh, first basketball jersey I ever bought, didn't know who he was, hey, there's Mr. Grant Hill, welcome to the party, Mr. Hill, thank you, sir, terrible corner, corner is trashed, Ay, Dios mío. What are we going to do? Finally get the hill. Trash corner. What are we going to do? Say la vie. Scott Skiles, no longer with the Magic. Now with the Bullets at this time. Horace Grant with the Goggles. Clyde Drexler, Dennis Rodman, Joe Dumars. Another Jalen Rose right there. Danny Manning. Checklist. Check, please. Vincent Askew, 
There's Juwan Howard, his rookie card. Who's Juwan Howard coaching these days? I don't remember. Um, don't know who he's coaching these days. Or is he coaching? Is he coaching or is he an analyst? I think he's an analyst. He might be an analyst. I don't remember. I don't really keep up with Juwan Howard. I know Jalen Rose is a um, pretty popular commentator. Um... There's Sharon Wright shooting over Big Shaq Diesel. Man, I really wish we can get that Slamming Universe Shaquille O'Neal. That's a very cool card to have. Christian Leitner, Dominique Wilkins, Gary Payton. There's a Sky Force Jason Kidd that we'll hold on to. A little bit of bricking. Come on. There's some bricking here. Checklist, Danny Man, David Robinson, Clyde Drexler. There is Hakeem the Dream. You know, Hakeem Olajuwon's really starting to get some serious shine these days, folks. I mean, people really, really sleep on him as a as a superstar. He's not, you know, because he was kind of in the same era as Michael Jordan. But, man, look up the man's stats. I think he had... The only perfect season where he was the MVP, scoring champion, um, you know, made it all the way to the finals, finals MVP, and won the championship all in the same year. Um, I don't think that's been done uh, since then, which is just amazing. So, of course, I'm a little bit biased. We're from Houston, Texas, so... Um, but still, I mean, man, I'm just, I'm happy I got to watch him play in his prime, um, and, and have him be the one that brought us a championship. Two of them, back-to-back -back championships, again, him and, um, you know, instead of a three-pack stack, we're going to go for a four-pack stack, and then we got... Actually, let's do this. We're going to go five-pack stack. And then in the last one, we're going to leave it for the very end to see if we can get some last-pack magic if we don't pull the Shaquille O'Neal slamming universe that we want out of this five-pack stack. Um, yeah, man, he just he's, he's an amazing player. Um His 86 rookie Fleer is shooting up. I was telling my brother a year ago to buy a couple of them. They were, you know, his PSA 10s were like a couple thousand dollars. Now they're like seven, eight thousand dollars, nine thousand dollars, creeping up into that ten thousand dollar mark. Um, man, the 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 hobby, uh, the sports card market is just getting ridiculous. I mean, ridiculous. Um, and I don't think it's going to stop. There's Sean Kemp. Uh, I don't think it's going to stop at all. Khaled Reeves. That's a cool card. Um, I think we're just going to keep seeing it grow and grow and grow. I think there's a lot of money coming into it. Um, yeah. Come on, man. Where's that slamming universe? I need that, that um Shaquille O'Neal, Slamming Universe, Robert Parrish, Reggie Miller, Kevin Johnson, John Stockton, Brian Shaw, no Hakeem, no, no, um, no Hakeem, I just pulled Hakeem, okay, here we go, last pack, we still, we didn't pull a single Penny Hardaway, we didn't pull a single, um, Shaquille O'Neal, so I'm a little upset about that. It might have been Series 1 where you pull all those cards. George Mirashan, Daniel Marshall, so we're not going to pull. Hey, there's another Grant Hill. All right. Welcome to the party again, Mr. Hill. Corner's a little bit better on this one. Not that much better, but a little bit better. Um, well, there you have it, folks.
uh, Skybox Premium. We'll run through really quickly some of the highlights um, that we got. Of course, big time names Grant Hill, Jason Kidd, um, Glenn Robinson, all first round draft picks. Glenn Robinson being first overall draft pick, Jason Kidd draft pick. Um, they're your two stars that came out of this whole shebang. There's a Kim Elijah on Skyforce, which we pulled, which is kind of dope. There's another Grant Hill. There's a Grant Hill special set uh, card number two out of this set. Oh, I lied. We did pull Aunt Penny Hardaway. And the, probably the dopest one, Skyforce Penny Hardaway. There's Mr. Jalen Rose, rookie card, and then a Grant Hill uh, Revolution. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Uh, I don't think that this is a gold Gary Payton. I think that it was just, that's his color. I don't think there's anything special about this one. Still a very dope card. But not too bad. All right, folks, if you made it this far, 31 minutes, you guys are absolute troopers. I appreciate you. I'm really sorry about the, uh, just kind of the big lull in between posting. Um, a lot of stuff going on in the world these days. And uh, I do have some, a few pieces of content backed up. So I'll be loading up those pretty soon. Be on the lookout for that. Uh, I'm going to continue to try to buy some boxes. Uh, but, like I said, prices just keep soaring, man. So I appreciate you guys watching. I really appreciate it. Um, subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Hit the notification bell as I will start to try to upload a little bit more frequently. And as always, love y'all. Peace.